The floor. Apply Dodo Deaden Duo. A single product is all that is required on the floor. This is a deadening and lining combination product. 100% deadening on the floor ensures a solid base and blocks a lot of the road and tyre wall passing through the floor. The insulation line is, a th is thinner to allow more flexibility and low profile to maximum headroom. One roll we've managed to get three sides lengths, side lengths out and a little bit left over in the box, just a fraction. So we measured three of them because obviously we've easily got to do three. We're doing the slightly shorter width ways because it's just easier just to hopefully roll out. You could even cut this into sections if you want to put it in squares or whatever. It makes no difference because it's going to go under the carpet anyway. So, uh, yeah. Obviously this stuff's upside down at the moment. So uh, it was easier to just cut through from the back than it was from the front or it seemed to. So uh, yeah, it's easy to uh, trim the, the corners off before it goes in, I think. Okay, first mistake we made, or I made, was we measured the distance of the van, which is great, and those sheets would have fitted in-ish, but because we're taking, out, uh, taking into account the contours of the floor, it would have used more. So basically, we're using the first one now as a guide. We're gonna move all those three that we were using at the back here, because it's shorter between them. The, the, the wheel wells and uh, yeah we're gonna attempt to roll it like that out and then trim it once we're done live and learn Okay, we sort of failed miserably trying to do it as one big sheet. So what we've done is cut it into sections. So it's like half a car each, if you see what I mean. Um, that might have been mean, yeah. So it just seems to work a little bit easier. The critical thing is, is you come down the hump, so you really need to tuck it in to try and get that done. Otherwise what happens is the, the foil floats and it doesn't really do its job properly. But yeah, it's hard work, much slower than I thought, but that's just me. Stage one, apply Dodo Deadin Hex to the vehicle metalwork first. Cover each metal panel with a minimum of 30 to 50% coverage. This will ensure vibration and resonance is removed from the panels, which stops noise being amplified inside the vehicle. This is the main cause of road noises inside vehicles. We recommend upping coverage to 100% on the wheel arches, as this usually is the most flexible material wrapped around the arches needed to block tire noise. Added bonus, when fitted to the roof, this will reduce rain noise and better night sleep in bad weather. So what we've got here is dodo mat. Um, you get this in smaller sheets for cars and stuff like that. They sell it in packs, you know, like A4 size, but for the camper vans, you get a big roll of it. So again, just a case of warming it up. Not that it needs much warming in this weather because it's quite warm. Warm it up and then, yeah, get it placed just wherever you can around the vehicle on the wall side. And then we'll put some, uh, we've got some other stuff to go on top of this later, but uh, this is the first part is to cut this into sections and put it as much as wherever you can. More the better, I guess, but you know, use it for, make sure you just get, get around the whole van. Cool. Yeah, just a bit of a degreaser, panel wipes, whatever. Just try and get some of the dust off. Try and give it the best chance it has of sticking and staying up there for a while. Matt, I don't know if you got that, what's 
cool with this dodo mat is uh, it's got one centimeter lines on it. So you can, uh, when you cut, you can just see where the line is that you want and then just go along the line. So yeah, from the back again, we just cut. You don't even have to nearly go all the way through. Mind your leg when you do it. Get it pressed in there, get yourself a roller as well to help roll it on there. I'll get a rag in a minute and help me push down. Lovely. And then we can trim this up before or after, do whatever you like, whatever fits. thing with this stuff is yes you can be really neat with it and make it really perfect and make everything fit in places but it really isn't going to make much difference to the how how good it was if you saw the sound difference it looked neat but then it's all covered up so yeah basically don't sweat it if you make mistakes and you've got a few panels that are a little bit small like down the bottom there but we could always add a bit more anyway but you know that will do its job, but again, all the edges, make sure it's all squashed in there, nice. As I said, get one of those painting molders that we need to get as well. We went a bit berserk on the wheel arches because why not? So yeah, daughter's getting carried away, sticking the, the silver foil everywhere, the day they mat. So we're calling it a day for the moment, maybe not the end of the video, but yeah, we've got the door, door to do still. We've got the rear doors to take the panels off and get some of those, but they can be a separate job. And we're still gonna put some strips up yet onto the roof yet. I still don't know what we're doing exactly with the roof, but we definitely need to, but yeah. You hear that? Much more solid now. It really takes the drumming out of the uh, the car. Yeah. Okie dokie. Another day, another another dollar. Got this uh, door panel 
to remove because we need some tan denim behind it so someone's already made this might be able to reuse it or at least use it as a template but yeah let's unscrew that and put some uh silent coat dodo mat behind it wow we've got that cover off um sort of pops on a bit weird it's got like poppers that sort of like poke through but then also just poppers on the back so yeah big flat screwdriver do your best take your time uh yeah little star drive set the handle off in there big block of foam already stuck in there so i don't know if we leave that in or put it off part of me says put it off for now and then we can see how it pulls off pulls off hey <laughs> Sorry about my knees, uh, looking at them. Anyway, decided to take the phone off because that's just silly and we're going to put other insulation in, but yeah. I didn't do it before, I should have done it before. Hopefully we've done some on the others, but yeah. Just like a, just like a VW now. Excellent! Stop playing with the door, Matthew. Okay, get it out. This is what we've got. We've got the Dodo Thermo liner to go in now. Um, for automotive thermo acoustic insulation, easy to install, high thermal efficiency, significant noise reduction, reduces condensation, strong, strong self adhesive layer. So, this, there you go, you see. As you can see, it's a layer of a uh, spongy foam which absorbs acoustic noises so sort of people talking and sort of voices and noise from outside and then you've got thermal layer which helps reflect heat in and out whether that's good or bad but we'll find out and then it's got a sticky super sticky layer to tear peel off so that just goes basically we cut it in sections and layer as much as we can over the dodo mat again making sure that you've degreased it and just make sure there's no dirt because no matter how strong the glue is it doesn't like sticking to dirt no glue does so yeah thought I was going to crack on with this and I'm not wearing my t-shirt mask yeah it doesn't quite yeah. fit a bit more well uh, yeah we could obviously rolled it out and done it the length though so have a proper length that's just being silly and wasteful I think yeah shall I do it yeah do it like that and then we just put another square bit in because that's probably a bit easier to get yeah. to. Yeah. Just got to make sure it's sort of straight, because if you're not straight going across, you then end up going downwards, if you see what I mean. Just a bit like rolling. Stage two, apply dodo thermo liner on top of the denning and cover the rest of the metalwork. 100% coverage or as much as possible. This is a waterproof closed cell form insulation that will absorb heat and further airborne noises passing through. It will also improve the acoustics and take away that unfinished room echoing hall environment. Most importantly, it greatly reduces the condensation buildup during winter by reducing panel radiation. In the winter, the cold steel panels will erect warmer air inside the van, which creates condensation, even more so if you plan to boil kettles and cook inside the van. In summer, this covers a hot metal, still to prevent the panels acting like radiator inside, keeping it cooler in hot weather. It's very similar, yeah, yeah, it will be.
the jug didn't come from me. People with OCD can go around that and clean all the, the sticky stuff off, which I should have maybe just cut here. Corners, which might be easier. Anyway, that's the same job. <laughs> 